So um, I really wanted to know what is your thoughts on like how can you inspire other young people, especially girls, into this? I mean, I think it's it's almost our responsibility, isn't it? I mean, so I was introduced to it from quite a young age. I I actually come from quite a a fairly privileged background, and I think the opportunities that were available to me at my school, maybe I took them for granted, but actually my teachers put in a lot of effort to making sure that we all had access to sort of fun engineering days like books in with companies that sort of thing um i think the first step is about awareness isn't it you know you, i'm sure if you took a random sample of of 12 year old girls and said do you know what an engineer does yeah. most people if you ask the general public do you know what an engineer does you know most people in in just in the general let's have no idea what we do or all the sort of <clears throat> excuse me like the extent or the um the breadth of what engineers do um so yeah i think raising awareness would be first like the first step to inspiring and then once you've got people understanding what it is then it's i think it's it's really easy to inspire people i think it, as long as your passion for something comes across i mean i've been told that several times that when i start talking about stuff they're like oh we can see that it comes across and i think if you've got people like yourself Eliza and, and you as well Maria you're clearly very passionate about these things and actually that definitely comes across um, so people like us I think you know we can make a huge difference. There's also this um, another thing I wanted to discuss like obviously for like um, as we've worked with Bentley and then we've worked with the class of your own Alison as Maria will know um, like obviously our elder we learn from our like elderly and we we learn from those are who are experienced i learned from allison and i learned from david i le learned from maria and i'm still learning but the interest that my elderly have shown me has kind of given me courage and like since you're working in a company you're working in what mcdonald just now i just want to know that is this something that you know uh, industrial companies will look into or they are looking into to like um, give experience to young professionals and you know just beforehand just that little amount of courage I believe it's a big opportunity for them. Is it like so what work do we do in in the community kind of? Yeah. So I mean I can't speak for many other um, many other companies but I know that and obviously all of our corporate social responsibility exercises over the last year have been diminished a little bit um, we found it's actually quite hard to run virtual events in schools, um, but we have we've got several schemes. <clears throat> sorry, that we that we run. We've got um, we run inspiring engineers schemes in several schools in Croydon, where we go in and we um, the students form teams, and then there's like a disaster relief um, scheme, and some of them will design a, a new bridge that goes over somewhere, and some of them will design um, new road systems, a new airport, and we'll we'll mentor them through that for about. 12 13 weeks um we've also got other stuff where we go into and see much younger so that would be sort of um, early sixth form students we've also got other schemes set up so this is just in my local kind of um, bridges team that we run um, there's another one which we have called bridges for schools um, and we've actually we've built this sort of i reckon it's about it's a cable stayed bridge it's about 10 meters long and it comes sort of flat packed and then we get all the kids dressed up in hard hats and high vis um, and they put it together themselves in their um, like sports hall or something. And it gives them that sort of practical hands on experience. And obviously we're, we're there supervising. Um, and that one's aimed at sort of much younger children. Um, and we're really hoping to, it would be great to sort of working with actually Bam Nuttall on that one. Do you think like it makes a difference? Like... Do you think you're building the interest in these children? Do you think it yeah. works? Yeah, it I does. Really, yeah, I do. Um, so even when, when you go into schools of, of, of sixth formers and you say, right, who here knows what an engineer does? Um, and everyone kind of stares at you blankly and they're like, oh, okay. And then you put up the sort of classic picture of a kind of old white guy with a hard hat and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that thing. And then you're like, oh, guys, come on. Like, that's, that's not all it is. And then you ask them again at the end of the, the 12, 13 weeks and they're like, yeah, I've got a much better idea. You know, like, you guys are going to save the world. And it's like, yes, you know, we've, we have actually changed their perception. I think it does work, yeah. I have a 
was just um like I was I shared this idea with Maria as well the other day and I was like I will share it with Junchi as well. What um I was looking into is this course that I've done, um, design engineer construct. Um I feel as if uh, Obviously, I'm, I'm so glad that I was given the opportunity, but I feel like this opportunity should be given more to the vulnerable people and these kind of opportunities, not just this course, but uh, like you're saying, working with the community. I feel as if uh, more construction like industries and these companies, they should be working with these schools, with these children, you know, to build on this link because it's not it's, we do, it's not just us learning from uh, our elders in uh, in the other way we're actually educating the elders as well we're teaching them something that we would probably know about the future and they're teaching us something that they have experienced so putting these two together i think it can create and develop really you know it's building our future so i have this dream of um, taking uh, these kind of opportunities and giving them to the vulnerable like i feel the like back home and countries around India, Bangladesh, you know, the Asian countries, I feel like uh, the perspective of uh, a girl back home, you would probably know that, you know, we expect girls, you know, just education to an age. You get married. Oh, wait, that's it. No, <laughs> not in my case. But like, yeah. I really feel that this opportunity, do you think it would be a good idea and a good opportunity for me to like take this on? Yeah, I think if, if you've got the passion for it um, and if you, you know, if you went back and you've got those contacts out there that actually you can go in maybe back to like your old school, I don't know. Mm. It comes back to that role model thing. People are going to see you and they're like, they can immediately relate to you and they can immediately see how inspired you are. There is, you know, even if you go to a room of 100 people and you only inspire one person, you've still inspired one person and that one person might go on to do great things. And that, that's kind of how I see it. Um, and that's that's actually part of the reason why I joined a big company because I haven't explored it yet. But actually, with offices all over the world, there's no reason why I can't just in the future bounce around and, like you say, do exactly what what you want to do as well. Um, and all you need is the platform. You know, you've got you've got the inspiring voice. You've got the passion. You don't need anything fancy to inspire people. You just need to stand there and and exactly. explain your passion to people, and and you will inspire. So there's nothing to lose.